Um, welcome back to Super Zombie Player. It's in the middle of a cutscene from yesterday. Yep. Yeah. I was in the middle of talking about Shakira boobs. That's cool. Well, most people were talking about Shakira hips, because they don't lie. They don't lie. You want to hear a fun story? Sure. Um, I entered a talent show in high school. Uh-huh. Uh, not in school. But, like, I was in high school. It was a talent show for teenagers in the community. Um, and... I decided my talent was going to be singing, and I did not choose a song that was like you know appropriate for like a you know fourteen year old, fifteen year old. No, what did I sing? I sang whenever, wherever for that talent show in English. Uh -huh. So I had to sing the lines. Lucky that my breasts are small and humble, so you don't confuse them with mountains. In front of my dad. Because I was performing in a talent show. Also not true. <laughs> like, just patently when untrue. I was 15, though. When did you hit your growth spurt? I don't remember. I don't remember but the majority of my youth. <laughs> yeah, there were, but there were pictures. Oh, there are pictures. Of young Shabnam. Of course there are pictures. I'm not sure what you're referring to, though. Oh, just like... Young pictures of you looking like a doof. <laughs> I mean, everybody has pictures of them looking like a doof as a child. That's true. In in this generation. That's true. You were because like large. ours is the generations where ours is the generation where like people had cameras in their house and it was normal to have that. Um. Gosh, yeah. 20 years ago, you had this big honking camcorder and maybe like a film camera or you would buy a Kodak disposable if you were having a party or something. Now, there are babies with Instagram accounts because <laughs> their parents will make one for them. <laughs> I'm hearing things about like teenagers who have like oversharing parents like suing their parents for like defamation mm -hmm. because there's like literally naked photos of these children on the internet that they yeah. didn't consent to and as they get older and they discover that their entire lives have been shared without their knowledge on the internet they're like okay actually fuck no yeah. <laughs> you're ruining my life by putting my baby butt on the internet so like stop this is an interesting line now because, like, the, the, you know, home videos and family photos and embarrassing baby pictures have always, you know, been a thing as long as there's been cameras. But now, the, in the age of like social media and oversharing and stuff, like now that the social media generation is having children, this is a whole new like territory. Like, where do you draw the line of personal boundaries? With your children? Um, somewhere before, like sharing every waking moment of their lives on like Instagram. But the, the 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 problem is that like that is the norm. I will never do that to my children. Like you will if anybody's following me and like or listening to this would be following me in the future, you will see like maybe five pictures total of my future children. Cause you don't really think about it. It's the same way that like you, you see your pet do something cute and you snap a picture and that like I imagine the reason that this happens is that. But there's a difference. You're not. I know. I understand. People need to understand that. That there's a difference between like humans, human children, and like animals. I understand Especially that, but when, I like, feel like putting it on the internet for everybody to see. Because with social media, it's like it's become so normalized and innocuous. Like, it, but it's it, not see, innocuous. I know, but it feels like it is, and it's also instant. It's like what we were talking about with like Apple Pay and like paying with apps and right. stuff like that, where like. You gotta be really careful because it doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like you're doing anything of consequence. You're just like, oh, boop, boop, tap, scan, done, paid for it. This is why I still like to pay with cash if I can. And I people call me old-fashioned. Yeah, but it, like, it feels good to exchange paper for like goods and services, to me at least. And it feels like you've spent money. Whereas when you... Even like some people... You could even go so far as to say that with credit card, it doesn't feel real. Because it's a piece of plastic. Yeah. But like... I guess, like, if you grew up with credit cards, credit card does feel like a little bit more, like, tangible exchange of money. That's even true. though it isn't physically money, it's a representation of money. Whereas your phone, it's... You don't really associate that with transactional stuff, I guess? Mm -hmm. At least, maybe, you know, in ten years or so, when everyone's using some form of digital payment. 
it'll be more real. Yeah. But for now, um, it's the Apple Butt Man. Yes, Apple Butt Man. <laughs> Like, uh, a bunch of the restaurants around my office use this app called Level Up. So it's like rewards and also you pay with your phone, so you just scan a little QR code when you check out and it's like fast and super convenient and whatever. But they changed it recently, probably due to complaints, but they used to uh, tabulate your, your purchases over the course of a month and then they would charge you a lump sum at the end of the month. Lightning arrow. So it literally did not feel like you were spending money if you were not keeping track of how often you went out to eat. You could get your bill at the end of the month, and all of a sudden it was like $150 uh -huh. from just going out to lunch. Right. But then I feel like people complained that that kept happening to mm -hmm. them, that they wouldn't get, they weren't able to keep track, so then they changed it so that it's an immediate charge per transaction. But That's even good. that, it's like, okay, I got an email that said you spent $10 at Chopped today. Okay, but like... I know, I know that in my brain, but it doesn't feel like I spent ten dollars at Chop today. This is why people today. should always like go like check your balance because not only is it good to like keep track of what you're spending, it's good to keep track of like what people might be spending for you for like identity theft and things like that. Yeah. Check your balance out there, kiddos. Yeah, like Apple Pay is super convenient, and I don't really have the issue of like, oh, it's not real money, ha ha ha, and then just like blowing all of my money. Um, but some people do. But like, oh wow, thanks for the praise, bro. I am, I am frequently using Apple Pay with the knowledge that like that's probably like a security hole in there somewhere. But then again, like there's probably a security hole in my bank too somewhere. You know. Yeah. It's just the way it is. Everything gets exploited at some point or another. You just gotta cross your fingers that like you have enough protections in place that it's not gonna like end your entire world mm -hmm. if it happens. Right. Bye, Apple man. The Apple guy's gone. He's all fired up. Anyway, technology. Anyway, technology. Hey, mm -hmm. he uh, we we made his arrow lightning and now. Bluma, bluma, bluma. Bloom this sapling. Really big sapling. Yeah, these aren't really saplings. More like, like compared trees. to Konohana itself, it's not as big as, you know, major Konohana. I suppose. Yeah. I suppose. It's really pretty up here. Like all the snow. This is my favorite area of the game. You just really like snow. I do. I want to go skiing so badly. I think it's almost winter. No, I'm so excited. If your strong desire for a snowstorm st snowstorm brings a second blizzard in a row, I'm gonna be so mad. Last winter was brutal. Bring it on. No, you've been in California. You did not experience the blizzard last year. Sure. It was awful. What should I buy? I don't know. What do you need? More health, more ink. Only just max out ink. Woot. Do it. Full. That's a lot of red. Very red. Much brush. Yeah. Right. Well, well, that's all you can do now. Yep. Yeah, that's fine. Now the ink is full. Uh, what's up here? I forget what this way. What there was a here? blizzard in Maryland the, oh, the year that I left. Oh, foxes. And oh, I hey. don't think there was it's a second that, year it's I was It's the forest there. kid. With the dead animal on his head? Yeah, dude. What is he doing here? He decided to go on an adventure, and he ended up in the north. You can help. It's just a fishing minigame. There's nothing to be gained from this, but you can just catch big old fish until you can't anymore. You can catch a tuna supreme and sell it for like 20,000 yen Chicken each. Chicken supreme and a cutlet supreme. <laughs> and another dojo. <clears throat> cutlet supreme is a car, right? Cutlet supreme? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Supreme. Oh, hello, Onigiri Sensei. Yeah. Not you again. You I have a question. To... What's up? Yeah, like where, how is he in every place at once? Well, that's, that's. I've explained myself already, no? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Here to Lone Island among the waves or the most frigid mountain peak, I forge a warrior's path throughout the land. So he's following you. He's, he's, yep. he's stalking you. Because you pay him money for things, so he's stalking you all over the world. You once again seek my tutelage in the finding arts. Uh, oh yeah, hardhead. That's counter dodge. No. Holy Falcon. 
<laughs> You're thinking of Holy Diver. I am. Holy Diver! You can see his stripes, but you know he's clean. <laughs> Proud of you. Okay, I need... Who doesn't love Dio? Dude, Dio's are great. Yeah. Okay, I never... Like, these are cool to have. Like, if you increase attack power with, like, Wailing Mirror or Rosaries or, like, anything. But I like having the Glaive because it's my favorite weapon. And then the Reflector is good to have a sub because I like blocking. So, we're just going to learn four shears. Gesundheit. <laughs> what? It was right there on the screen. Half, no, like, I don't know half of what you just said. That's but it was don't. right there on the screen. You just said it so fast that I, like, didn't process what you were saying. Okay. Don't uh, worry. Ooh. Yeah. Next nap. <laughs> Hench and a go-go, baby. Yep. That's so the I same was, pose. That's what I was going to say. Gotta love them in-jokes. I love in jokes. I love in jokes. Self referential humor. I love them. It's good. Sh it's good shit. It's All right, four shears. Just go for it. Who says that? Somebody says that in this game. In this game? I know it's Sylvia's oh, line. No. Somebody uh, says Waka it. Oh no! Waka says you. it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And then the clovers obviously are clover. Yeah. Does somebody actually say Henshin a go go? Because I know that's the pose that Sensei, Onigiri Sensei. Yeah. Somebody says Henshin something. Yeah. I think it's also Waka. I don't remember. Waka's like a sass, sass bomb. Yeah. It's very possible. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna a time this. The, the floor, when it opens up, the bottom of it looks like mattresses. Good. Good job. job. Goo goo could you go, go, mm, go, not go. bad. Keep it up. Smack smack smack. So yeah, I think we we I think we discussed this already, but like he's clearly magic. He's not human. His head spins yeah. 360 degrees and he can wave his cane at the dummy and make it come back into one piece. Also there's like dark magic clouds em emanating from his skull. So, like, he's some kind of fucking wizard. That thing that's over his head, that just means you can talk to him. No, Alex. When he uh, wa when he wags his walking stick. Look. Oh, you're right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> he's a fucking dark wizard. But, like, he decides to use his dark powers for being a sensei. <laughs> yeah. Being a little, a little intimidating for his students. Shit. Boy, how many times do you need to do this? You can just leave, but like, I want the holy bone. How many times do you need to do it to get a holy I bone? I think one more after this one. Is it even fucking worth it? You could just find those. Oh, uh, wait, anywhere. that was it? That was it. Great. Good. You may go now. <laughs> GTFO. Alright, cool. Um, thank you for the bone. Have the get fuck. Okay. And now I'm gonna learn hard head too. Great. Please don't do it like 18 more times. Just do it the once. No, you, you, hard head, you only do the once. Good. He doesn't even give you anything. Or like anything to practice on. Well, what's the move? Hard head? Barf, barf, barf. Um, like things that you couldn't break through before. Like yes. big rocks and stuff like that. Yes. You can break with your head. But it's actually kind of funny. The more you use it, yeah. the stronger it gets. So, like, at first you can't do gigantic rocks. By the end, and you've been doing it a lot, you can break boulders that are, like, three times your size. So it's like building a, a callus, but on your skull. Exactly. <laughs> all right, we're just going to skip it this time. Dude. Okay. You don't I, have to do the training at all? No, no, you have to go in, and he has to give you the technique scroll. But I then, see. okay, we're just going to skip this. Yes, I understand it. Okay, I skipped again. <laughs> Thank you. He yes, doesn't, I understand he doesn't the give you anything. explanation that I didn't even listen to. Yeah. All you have to do is just swing the. Had enough, eh? Yeah. Let me give you a speech, eh? Eh? <laughs> yeah. Eh? eh? <laughs> okay, that's cool. Now we're out of here. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Sensei. Uh, you can learn an upgrade to Golden Fury, but it costs 2 million yen. What? It's called Brown Rage. Oh, fuck no. You are kidding me. No, not kidding. Oh, my God. That's... Statue. 
What's up, friend? That's a sim. I know. Why is there a statue of Isun? Or did you just carve that? I just carved that. No. Yeah. Why would you be carving Isun's likeness into the snow? I don't know. Why it, would it's you, ran- why would it's, you deface the snow like that? It's random each time you cut it. So oh, like if so I if just, I like go back and do it again, it might be on me. It's just trying to make me mad. That's all. It is. Exactly. Okay. Let us continue in this village. Hey, this is Lodge. the first time our our episode has actually been an episode length. Because I'm watching the clock now. That we did a fucking 22 minute episode. All right. Peace, Peace love, and geekdom. love, snow geekdom. Bye. That's not even a thing. Bye. Bye.